Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If using Excel 97 or Excel 2000, you have a feature called the Formula Palette that you can use to assist you in creating and editing ranged formulas. In the Formula Palette, you select the function that you want to use in the formula from a list of functions. To open the Formula Palette, click the equal sign in front of the formula bar. The Formula Palette will drop down and display underneath the formula bar. The name box at the left of the formula bar has now become a drop down list of the most recently used functions on your computer. You can select any function from this list if you would like. There is also a more functions command at the bottom of that drop down list that if selected brings up another dialog box called paste function where you can pick from all of the functions provided by Excel. So you can select your function there or from the drop down list. When you've made your selection of the function, you can then click and drag over the range of cells on which you want to perform the selected function in your spreadsheet. So we use the text box that displays to select the range of cells for the function to calculate. This dialog box where you pick the cell range has a button called Collapse Dialog at the right end of each number text box. When you click this button, the formula palette shrinks to allow you access to more of the spreadsheet for your cell range selection. Clicking the same button again will expand the dialog box so that you can view the entire formula palette dialog box again. Now be careful when you're making your cell selection because anytime you click into the spreadsheet, it will add those cells to the formula. So if you can't see the cells that you need for the formula because the formula palette dialog box is in the way, you can click the Collapse Dialog button at the end of the first number, or the number one text box, to reduce it down to a single line. Then you can click and drag over the cells that you want as your formula cell references. You can then click the same button again to expand the dialog box when you're done selecting your cells. You'll see the formula displayed in the formula bar, and all you need to do is click OK to set the formula into your spreadsheet. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.